Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Power Ten Daily Podcast. I am your host, Pen. Today is episode eight: Vitamin L and Vitamin H in home cooking. Do you know what these vitamins are? When it comes to cooking, people usually talk about vitamin B, vitamin E, vitamin C, etc. But you hardly hear people talk about vitamin L or vitamin H. So what do you think they stand for? Joshua Rosenthal says it best, especially when it comes to home cooking. Vitamin L stands for vitamin love, and vitamin H stands for home cooking. You're not going to get the same vitamin L and vitamin H when you go to a restaurant and eat. Everything's made of energy. When we cook, we give our energy in the food. When we go out to eat, chefs they cook, they provide vitamin L without the vitamin H. The vitamin L that they give out is different. It's because they don't know you, and they're working at a fast-paced environment. They can be depending on if the restaurant is busy or not, and depending on the day. If a chef is very stressed and he's under a lot of pressure, then he's not going to give out as much vitamin L. Also, when he's cooking in a restaurant for strangers, the vitamin, the type of vitamin L love is going to be different. Than when he's cooking at home for his family and friends, I've never experienced it myself. But if the restaurant staff is not happy with you, then they can spit in your food. You won't even know it. If you come home with an upset stomach due to the food in the restaurant, it might not be the food itself. It might be the energy that the chef put in what during cooking. As for vitamin H, vitamin home cooking. When you cook at home, you know exactly what you put in there. You know where the ingredients come from, at least from the store where you get the ingredients from, or the farmers market, depending on where you shop for your ingredients. Usually, restaurants' foods are more salty, more sweet, and sometimes in Chinese restaurants they even put MSG in it, but they won't tell you. Have you noticed when you cook at home and you eat the food that you cook, you usually find it tastier, not because you're really hungry and you eat the food and you feel that that's why it's more tasty, but it's because you cooked it yourself. When you cook at home, you can add your own creativity to it that will enhance the vitamin love in the food. Also, when there's a family gathering for events. It is a way to communicate and have fun with your family and friends. Home cooking allows families to share recipes and pass them down to different generations. This will bring family culture, tradition out even more. Home cooking doesn't have to be using a stove or an instant pot. It can simply be preparing a salad, or do a shake. Depending on your situation and location, home cooking can also save you a lot of money and time, especially if you order home delivery meal prep supplies, or if you spend a day or two during the week to prepare to prep. Your meals in advance. One activity you might want to try is prepare food at home, eat it, document, note how you feel before you made the food, during the food making process, and while you're eating, and how you feel afterwards, and then compare to how you feel before you get to the restaurant, when you get to the restaurant, while you're eating the food, and then afterwards. If you're transitioning from going out to eat to home cooking, there's going to be more time spent on prepping, 
in terms of what to cook and testing different recipes and getting them right. But once you master the skill, it can be very rewarding and a way to connect with your family and friends. If you like this podcast, please subscribe and write a review and share with others. Thank you all for listening and have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,